this is uh, really why I'm looking forward to moving in three weeks because uh, the new house has got a workshop out the back. Again, half the reason I'm doing this now is because my solar panel thing will have a purpose. Um, it will power my radios so I can turn the shed into a little shack. But yeah, the important thing to remember is when doing this, I always do it with plenty of time before the missus comes home. Because she would go spare if she walked through the kitchen door right now and saw this all over the place. But yeah, got it done. I've um, screwed in after lining up all the uh, switches and the socket and the charge controller. I've got the wires to go because I want no wires out the front. Wires to the power out, 12 volt out will go in there behind the board. Battery behind there down into the uh, back battery bank and then the solar panel will come in from behind the board through the hole then into uh, the charge controller so they're all uh, in I've drawn out the holes for the wiring so uh, I've got no wires on the front panel and there's tiny little holes at the back of here about four by five mil a good five mil in diameter uh, if not six or seven mil actually and that they'll be used to run the uh, the wires out in time to the uh, voltage meters so I've got my three switches to go in here now just screwed them all on a minute ago to make sure they all do fit and uh, the control right. four feet um, yeah the control panel is starting to take form now it's all screwed down and, and all the holes are pre-drilled I just got the Dremel out just to sand off any sharp edges I mean, not for the precaution of the wire going through and getting torn it's just I like a nice round finish and everything so I've dremeled the sander attachment get a bigger shot get it all in shot so we're starting to get there um just gonna wire up now the battery bank cable because that goes to the battery bank and then clips clips on with uh, crocodile clips so i'm gonna wire that in and then try and wire all the switches in so all i've got to do then is i'm gonna take it back out to the shed wire up the panel so hopefully now I can get all this done. I bought an extension a while ago, uh, which never really got used. So I've got some big heavy duty cable here to use for the wiring. Um, I wanted the uh, plastic windy case it came in for something else. And I, I thought it'd be good to keep the wire for something. So I've got a wire donor. And as you can see the control panel is now taking a bit of shape. I've just got to label these. So I don't forget battery bank main switch power off. Um, actually, I might do it in order of that. Yeah, the same order there will be the same order here. That will control um, the AC, DC to AC. That will control the battery bank and switch off the whole system. And then that one be for the solar panel. Because that's the order they're shown on here. So I wasn't sure which way around I was going to have them. But I might as well line them up the same as they're lined up on here. And also I will be printing out a sheet. A printed diagram and instructions like one, two, three, How to shut down the system. Uh, and laminating it. And having it on the wall next to the control panel. So if anyone does need to turn the power on or off for any reason they'll be little diagram of it and basically middle switch middle switch does it all so now the fun part wiring not the bit I like I'm more of a hammer kind of guy right so I decided to uh, keep the, uh, the shelf attachment bits not to fix it to a wall because like I said I wanted it to be sort of forward facing so um 
that'll fit on the shelf. The uh, the army storage box I've got is something like two and a half foot tall by three and a half foot wide or three foot by two foot. And it's got a single shelf in the middle, the battery bank underneath. And at the moment, everything's loose on the shelf. Um, you can see the back at uh, the box in my other videos. I used it originally to put CB equipment in. And um, then I changed over from all the CB equipment to just a simple handset. So I'm re reusing the box. So this will sit nicely on the top shelf. Um, switch everything on and off. Again, I'm going to have voltmeters above the switches. And the wiring should be hid behind the face panel. It's on a nice 45, 50 degree angle. Um, and it will fit in nicely and all the wires will be concealed behind it. And then directly below it is my battery bank. Which is probably going to be the next thing. Yeah, definitely the next thing I upgrade. So this should power my shack nicely. Um, keep my radios charged up. And uh, again, be back up for the house to run sort of... Uh, lights uh and charge ds's and stuff for the children so yep yeah, got all the screw holes drilled out it's now up in the 45 degree angle or 50 degree or whatever that is nice and solid so now now i should get back onto the wiring side of things right very quick update so you can see where i'm at negative side of the battery going into the negative side of the terminals there and then the plus side of the battery is going into the switch coming out blue around the back I'm showing you now because soon this is going to be full of wires at the front so instead of having the two wires go in one split off bridge to that and then back into the controller so that now I'm going to go and get the battery before I proceed any further, just to make sure I've got the switches up and down for on and off. But uh, at the moment, the battery one's wired up. I'm just going to connect the battery up quickly. I'm going to go out in the shed and get that, just to make sure the lights come on when I flick it down. But the uh, control panel's getting there, and it's going to look pretty sweet when it's done. Right, my little battery for testing's hooked up. Da, 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 da. moment of truth will the lights come on first time lucky oh yeah up for off down for on hell yeah first time lucky hopefully I can get the other two to work the same way around just got to remember the charge control wires go to the top and I'm sorted Good times. Okay, YouTube. Thank you for subscribing and following me. I've finished the uh, hard wire inside of my new control panel for my shed. Um, I think I've just about got it. I've got the two wires coming down here. Positive, negative, crocodile clip straight to go onto the battery bank in the shed. Charge controller is all wired in. The uh, 230 volt is all wired in. That controls power out to that. That turns off the battery, which shuts off that. And that controls the uh, solar panel. So. Who wants to see behind the panel? It's all working. I've just literally got to put it in the shed and connect the panel, the solar panel up. I've put that on there. So I've got to connect that up to the solar panel. And if we just move around the side. There we go. <clears throat> I took apart my little cruddy inverter. But I couldn't hardwire it to the back of the socket. Because the... The three prongs, well, two of them, the live and the neutral, uh, are wired straight to the circuit board. The prongs are on the circuit board. Only the earth cable comes off to the socket itself. Um, but so because the prongs are 
soldered directly to the board. I didn't want to start desoldering and ruining that because when I buy myself a proper inverter, converter, sorry, um, I might want to use that for something else. So I've just put a plug in it, the black lead going straight up into the plug socket, running it off the uh, cigarette multi adapter. So that when I turn on the furthest to the right switch, the third switch along, that switch turns on this thing and anything that's plugged into it will work. Uh, generally, I normally have my USB lights plugged in there just to light up the shed 24-7. Um, but now that's plugged in, when I turn that switch on, that will come on and in turn making that socket live. So that's, that's it really. Made a bit of a mess kitchen is a fucking pigsty to say the least um and yeah i haven't got any voltage meters yet i could wire them straight in uh into the charge control obviously I have the power one coming out of there there but i want them contained to the switches so if i do want to shut the system down uh like to turn off the solar panel i want the uh, the voltage meter wired into the switch and I want the battery meter wired into the switch. Um, or I might have them wired in here and separate switches to turn them off. Because those LED things don't have to chew up the power. I looked at the analog ones, but they're three times the price. And most of them went up to 12 volts. And this cuts out at 14.8, I think, or 14 volts, which will blow the analog ones. Again, I'm not going to spend a fortune on really expensive analog gauges. Um as I've only spent a small amount of money on this so far. So yeah, it looks simple, and it is simple. It's really basic, just a bit of fun really, and uh, it will power lights in my shed and uh, keep my radios charged up or, or powered. Uh, I've got a 10 watt panel, it's about a foot square. So that's enough to trickle charge the system and keep lights on the shed and keep my radios charged up. And that's it. So tomorrow I'll uh, connect the wires up to the battery bank and then plug in a solar panel and then wait for the voltage meters to turn up and I'll get them wired in and another date via the holes. As I said in my other video on the top of the switches, there's little holes so I can have uh, the live go into the voltage meter and then a negative running behind the board to the, the actual device itself. So there's my cheap control panel for my solar project shed uh, seven pound shed from that uh, shelf from B&Q I think it was 15 pound of eBay seven quid three quid three quid three quid so I've not spent a great deal um, the, f the main thing is it actually works <laughs>